Aung San Suu Kyi's Myanmar's leader pre-coup um, was seen as a strong leader. A lot of people uh, felt that she wasn't a good politician, that she didn't see kind of the knives at her back, that she wasn't great at, at um, managing the military, managing ethnic leaders. I disagree. I actually think she was very good at managing the tense relationships that were um, kind of at the fore, managing what the military wanted, um, trying to um, um, figure out the best path forward so that she could, in what would be this, this second term of hers, pre-coup, um, figure out a way to ratify the constitution and to enact a number of uh, changes that would also allow for a more kind of federal society. I think where there were some pitfalls is that you know, control of the of her party, the National League for Democracy, was very, um, she was at the center of it. It was kind of Aung San Suu Kyi centrality, which makes sense, but there was also centrality, centrality of a much older generation, of people in their late 70s where, you know, we won't all live forever, what would the next generation of the NLD and the next generation of politicians need to learn and do? Similarly, there were some thoughts that ahead of this election that, um, the NLD wouldn't sweep in the way that they did and that there would be the need for a coalition government with a number of the ethnic groups. Um, that didn't happen. And she was able to, to centralize uh, power under the NLD. Um, but I do think, you know, she was seen as popular because she was willing to be kind of the voice and the face of the people in good and bad. So internationally, um, there was a, there was a, a lot of um, angst and frustration toward her due to the treatment of the Rohingya population and what happened in kind of 2018, 2019 um, with, the, with the mass exodus of the Rohingya uh, via ethnic cleansing from the military. And Aung San Suu Kyi defended the military at The Hague. She defended um, kind of an assault on, on Rohingya terrorist organizations in a way that the international community felt uh, was shocking. But from a, uh, a Myanmar local policy perspective, it's not surprising, actually. And it is something that a populist leader of Myanmar could seek to do. Um, so I think that she she was a very apt politician. I think that she, um, a very apt and able politician, I think that she um, was really hoping to use this next term to change the way forward for her country, both from a, um, a, a peace and ceasefire and kind of uh, ethnic um, armed group perspective and a way forward in terms of, um, um, you know, a new peace process for the country, but also in just kind of the way the country was able to be ruled. And unfortunately, she wasn't able to, to see that forward.